Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on implementation of higher order decoder using lower order decoder. One example for this topic is implementation of 3 by 8 decoder using 2 by 4 decoder. In the previous video, we have to discuss about what is a decoder, how we are implementing 2 by 4 decoder and uh, how we are implementing 3 by 8 decoder. So please uh, refer that to videos for a better understanding of this video. Okay, now. So here, uh, suppose I am taking a 2 by 4 uh, decoder. Okay. So, as the name implies, the first coordinate is 2. That indicates the number of inputs. Okay. Here, n is nothing but number of inputs. That is 2. Okay. How many number of outputs that are generated? That is 2 power n. That is equal to 2 power 2. That is equal to 4 outputs are generated. So, here the two inputs I am taking as A and B. It can generate four outputs that are D0, D1, D2 and D3. Okay. So, these are the four outputs of the uh, decoder and these are the two inputs of the decoder. Hence, we can say that it can be called as a 2 by 4 decoder. 2 inputs and 4 outputs. Now, among the 4 outputs, okay, one output is active, actively high based on the possible combination of input values A and B when the enable input E is equal to 1. Okay, here enable input E control the operation of a decoder. If the enable input value is equal to 0, the decoder cannot be functioned. Okay. If the enable input capital E is equal to 1, the operation of the decoder can be uh, successfully completed by actively selecting only one output as active high and the remaining outputs are active low based on the combination of two inputs A and B. Okay. If the enable input is E is equal to 0, that means the decoder cannot be functioned properly without applying the inputs and uh, all the outputs of the uh, decoder D0 to D3 are zeros. Okay. So, this is the description of the 2 by 4 decoder. Next, we can go for 3 by 8 decoder. As the name implies, the first coordinate is number of inputs. That is a 3 inputs A, B, C. Okay. How many number of outputs that are generated? n is equal to 3. So, that is 2 power 3. That is 8 outputs are generated. 8 outputs are D0 to D7. Okay. When the enable input E is equal to 0, okay, the 3 by 8 decoder cannot be functioned properly. Okay. If the enable input E is equal to 1, it can be operated uh, correctly and it can select only one output as actively high based on the possible combination of input values A, B and C. Okay. So, this operation can be done when the enable input E is equal to 1. Okay. Now, for this 2 by 4 decoder, 3 by 8 decoder can be called as a higher order decoder. Okay. Then, 3 by 8 decoder can be called as a higher order decoder. Then, 2 by 4 decoder can be called as a lower order decoder. Okay. Now, in the same way, 4 by 16 decoder can be called as a higher order decoder. When, 
2 by 4 decoder can be called as the lower order decoder. So in the same way, it contains 4 inputs, it generates 16 outputs. 4 inputs are A, B, C and D. 16 outputs are D0 to D15. Among the D0 to D15 outputs, only one output is actively high based on the possible combination of input values A, B, C and D when the enable input E is equal to 1. Okay. Now, for the 2 by 4 decoder, 3 by 8 and 4 by 16 decoders can be called as a higher order decoders. Okay. Now, implementing higher order decoder using 3 by, uh, implementing higher order decoder that is 3 by 8 decoder using lower order decoder that is a 2 by 4 decoder in this video. Okay, in the next video, we have to discuss about implementation of higher order decoder that is 4 by 16 using 2 3 by 8 decoders. At that time, 4 by 16 is the higher order decoder and the 3 by 8 decoder is lower order decoder. Okay, now in this video, first we have to implement implementation of 3 by 8 decoder using 2 by 4 decoder. Okay, how many number of 2 by 4 decoders are required to implement 3 by 8 decoder? That is required number of lower order decoders such as 2 by 4 decoders is equal to M2 by M1. This formula is used for calculating the number of lower order, lower order decoders are required to implementing higher order decoder. Where M2 is nothing but number of outputs of higher order decoder. Next, whereas M1 is number of outputs of lower order decoder. Okay. Now, M2 is nothing but number of outputs of higher order decoder. M1 is nothing but number of outputs of lower order decoder. Here, higher order decoder is 3 by 8. Okay. This is a higher order higher order. Next one, uh, lower order is nothing but 2 by 4 uh, decoder. Okay. So, number of outputs of lower order decoder is 4. That is, therefore, M1 is equal to 4. Okay. Number of outputs of higher order decoder, that is 8. Okay. So, therefore, M2 is equal to 8. Okay, now the far, by using this formula, we have to find out the number of lower order decoders are required to implement higher order decoder. That is 8 by 4. 8 by 4 is nothing but 2. That is 2 2 by 4 lower order decoders are required to implement 3 by 8 higher order uh, decoder. Okay, now the block diagram is uh, shown in this uh, figure. Okay, so this is the first 2 by 4 decoder and this is the second 2 by 4 decoder because two 2 by 4 decoders are required to implement 3 by 8 decoder. This is the first 2 by 4 decoder and this is the second 2 by 4 decoder. As the name implies, it can, it can accept two inputs that is A and B are two inputs that are connected to the 2 by 4 decoder as inputs. Next, it generates how many number of outputs? 4 outputs are generated that are D0 to D3. Okay, now this is the enable input of a 2 by 4 decoder. This enable input can control the operation of a 2 by 4 a decoder. If the enable input value is equal to 1, okay, it can actively select only one output among the four outputs as active high based on the possible combination of input values of A and B. Okay, so this is the description about the first 2 by 4 decoder. Next, the second 2 by 4 uh, decoder. As the name implies, it can take two inputs. That is, A is connected to the first 2 by second 2 by 4 decoder. B is connected to the second 2 by 4 uh, decoder. It generates four outputs. 
that are uh, D4 to D7. Here D0 to D3 is the outputs of first 2 by 4 decoder and D4 to D7 are the outputs of the second 2 by 4 uh, decoder. Okay. So, hence we can say that 2 inputs and 4 outputs, this is the second 2 by 4 decoder. This is the enable input. Now, uh, here 8 outputs are there, but here only 2 inputs are connected to uh, first 2 by 4 decoder and second 2 by 4 decoder. Where is the third input? The third input variable that is a C. C is directly connected to the second order, second 2 by 4 decoder to the enable input. Okay. The input variable C is directly connected to the enable input of the second 2 by 4 decoder and it can generate uh, 4 outputs by taking the uh, 2 inputs A and B. This is the third output. Okay. Now, the complement of the complement of third variable, third input variable C is connected to the enable input, enable to the enable input of the first 2 by 4 decoder. Okay. Now, the third input is directly connected to the second 2 by 4 decoder to the enable input. The complement of the third input is connected to the enable input of the first 2 by 4 decoder. Now, so 3 inputs are there and 8 outputs are there. So, C value is equal to 1. It is directly connected to the second 2 by 4 decoder. C value is equal to 0. It is direct. It is uh, the complement of C is connected to the first 2 by 4 decoder. Okay. Now, uh, C is equal to 1 means the second 2 by 4 decoder is active. And C is equal to 0 means the first 2 by 4 decoder is active. Okay. So, the, con uh, the, control, the control of the 3 by 8 decoder can be done by using the enable input. Here, the enable input is the third input variable. The third input variable decides this decoder is active or this decoder is active among the two decoders only one decoder is active. Okay. If C value is equal to 1, okay, the second 2 by 4 decoder is active. If C value is equal to 0, the first 2 by 4 decoder is active. Okay. Among the two 2 by 4 decoders, at K time, only one 2 by 4 decoder is active. Okay. So, this is the description about implementation of 3 by 8 decoder using two 2 by 4 decoders. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. So, develop Srinivas Rao. Thank you.